Shannon Air Museum actually was started in the 70s, 1970s, by Mr. Shannon, Sidney Shannon Jr. Sidney Shannon Jr. was the son of, obviously, Sidney Shannon Sr. That's important because he started Eastern Airlines with Eddie Rickenbacker. To commemorate his father's involvement with Eastern Airlines, he started to buy these antique aircraft that are in here now, which a lot of them are very historical. The curator of the original museum was Dick Merrill, and Dick Merrill was the first transatlantic pilot that flew a passenger across the ocean in 1936, and a Volte such as this one behind me. The Volte, of course, is amazing. That's an amazing aircraft, um, the last one in the world. There was 25 of them in the world, and uh, that's the last one left. We have the uh, SPAD, which is a World War I French plane. There's only 10 of those in the world. These artifacts here were actually part of Mr. Shannon's collection, but we're always searching for more artifacts because we want to create a living museum where you have uh, parts of history as you go through. So we want kids to come and be able to come in and look at an airplane, touch an airplane, look at pilots that flew past, present, and future get into a simulator, get them involved, and uh, get people involved to get into aviation. A lot of history, a lot of history here.